Hi everybody, this is Kwabana from OpenMV and today I'll be explaining some new features of OpenMV IDE that allow it to be used with any MicroPython board. So in the last two weeks we've managed to get uh, syntax highlighting finally working and uh, OpenMV IDE actually parses the HTML help files now on startup and automatically brings in all of the syntax highlighting information. Additionally, we're going to have uh, tooltips when you hover over any of these keywords that will display information about that particular object or function. And we're going to be adding auto-completion support. But for right now, I'm going to be talking about a new feature of OpenMV IDE that will allow you to use it with any MicroPython board. So, Right now, OpenMV IDE is kind of built for the OpenMV cam, obviously, but we can kind of reformat the IDE now to make it somewhat generic. Um, the sliders that were currently in OpenMV IDE can now be collapsed, allowing you to hide uh, relevant, well, unrelevant information in the system. So you can collapse the frame buffer area now and slide the IDE over to make it just a text editor window. Once you do that, we have a new feature called Open Terminal. This allows you to effectively open a serial port, UDP port, TCP port, etc., and then make a standard serial terminal that works with any MicroPython board very easily. So if we select Connect to Serial Port, you can then connect to any um, serial port connected to your computer. This can either be a standard USB serial port to your Open MVCAM or MicroPython board or it can be a Bluetooth serial port or an FTDI chip connected via Zigbee wirelessly to another Zigbee chip. So we got to open MV cam on COM5, so I'll just select that. And then you just need to enter a baud rate. The default baud rate for a MicroPython to work is uh, 115200. And so we just press that and boom, we now have a standard serial terminal. So the serial terminal, just like the editor window supports uh, zooming and so you can set the text size just by doing control and um, scrolling your scroll wheel. Anyway, so on the MicroPython terminal you have um, pretty much all the standard features you're used to. So you can import a sensor and we have tab completion working. Um, Additionally, Control D works to reset the board. Control C works to quit whatever program is currently running. It is a full RELP experience, but now in a cross platform package and just standardized. Additionally, we've also integrated some nice features to make programming your MicroPython board a lot easier. So now instead of having to manually type in your program, you can just edit it in OpenMV IDE and click the Run button up here. And this will send the current script to the system and automatically cause it to run. Additionally, you have a Stop button here to kill that and a Reset button to re soft reset the, Python, the MicroPython board. Now, in addition to this, for OpenMV boards, we're actually going to let you, you're actually going to be able to send images through the serial port to a debug frame buffer. So this will work just like the standard frame buffer in OpenMV IDE. It'll be a little bit more uh, cumbersome to use because you'll have to actually manually call a print function to print the image. But besides for that though, you'll be able to send images through the serial port. And this is going to be very useful for anyone who's trying to wirelessly connect their OpenMV cam to OpenMV IDE using a uh, Bluetooth USB port or a Zigbee solution or something like that. And you also have your histogram view down here like normal. And so both of these things collapse. You also have a zoom. Um, yeah, so you got all the nice features. The best thing though is that the serial terminal system actually remembers the serial terminal's position and all the other stuff. So for example, if I move this terminal here and I close it, you can then recall that terminal at any time through this little handy dandy help menu and it will remember the exact size and position and the state of all the widgets here on whether they were closed and etc. It also re remembers your uh, font size which is useful. 
Anyway, so with this new feature, you're going to be able to debug your OpenMVCam much easier wirelessly, and you'll also be able to use OpenMV IDE with any MicroPython board. And so we hope this helps out the MicroPython community and spurs development. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.